Mr. Jim, what's your superpower? I don't know really that I have one. I have a tendency to do a lot of things moderately well. There, I have a whole lot of interests. And so I, I, even in my career, I, I would call myself a generalist because I do generally anything. <laughs> I go to a gym usually about four to five days a week. I guess I'm just doing whatever I can to keep my brain going and my body going. What did you like to do when you were my age? I was born in Miami in, in November of 1942. I used to ride my bicycle all over town. My next door neighbor and I would get on our bicycles and we would ride all over Miami going fishing. We'd go down to Biscayne Bay and fish all day and come back. And uh, every now and then we'd have fish to clean. Post-World War II in Miami was a, a rather intriguing time. There were times when they could see ships exploding off in the Gulf Stream because of German U-boats, submarines. What did you want to be when you grew up? What did I want to be when I grew up? Actually, I, I started out to become a doctor. When I went to college, my major was biology, but it was also had a pre-med emphasis. But unfortunately, I was not exactly a very good student. And so I ended up going into public health, and I was a public health administrator for 40 years. What do you do to stay active, sir? Well, I'm at the senior center. I'm, I'm part of the model building class. As part of this model building class, I've been working on the USS Constitution. It's a uh, full full-scale model of a tall ship, the USS Constitution, which is the oldest active warship in the world. It's based in Boston Harbor, still rates a full U.S. Navy crew. It's still a work in progress. I've been working on it for 21 years and counting. But it's a lot of fun, though, to take something and go from a plain piece of wood and a set of plans, if you happen to have them, and come up with this completed model. It takes a long time. What makes you a role model for active aging? Well, besides going down to the senior center and giving them trouble, I am a puppeteer. My wife and I have the puppet ministry at our church, and uh, we do it primarily for the preschool students at our, at our Sunday school. I mean, with a name like Jim Henson, you've got to do puppets. That's, that's just a given. The senior center, I'm involved in the... Uh, maintaining a, their database and I track all of their volunteers uh, and the time that they put in and how much it saves the city as far as their budgetary stance is concerned. Is there something you've always wanted to do? My wife and I wanted to do some traveling. What would we like to see? We decided on going to Alaska and there's it's just a very interesting place to visit. How does it feel to be a Silver Star superhero? I'm amazed. <laughs> I just went up there and was doing my job as was expected, I thought, not expecting to get any real recognition or anything. And uh, so now I'm, I've been labeled a silver star, and I guess that makes me some kind of a hero, or I don't know. <laughs>